Doctor Doom has returned to the Fortnite Island in Chapter 5 Season 4, and he has been the most terrifying villain we have had in Fortnite, in my opinion. He has turned the north side of the map into his perfect society. He's basically a dictator, but to even get to this point, he had to defeat some iconic Marvel heroes and villains. If you know anything about Doctor Doom in the Marvel comics, you know Doom stops at nothing to defeat whoever is against him. So this doesn't really come as a shock, but who he defeated is what makes him the most menacing villain we have ever had, and he has trophies at Doom Castle that represent who he has defeated. Now because Doom Castle is a new and very busy POI, it can be difficult to see all of the trophies and easter eggs, so that's what we will be going over today. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show a secret location, so be sure you stay for the whole video. So when you're first flying onto the map, you will see Galactus's head sticking out of the water because Doctor Doom was able to defeat him, which that is just insane in my opinion. Galactus literally devours worlds, which shows how big of a threat Doctor Doom is to the Fortnite Island. When you enter the doom castle poi if you stay toward this right side and enter this building you will see a few of the marvel characters that doom has defeated in this main room you can see magneto's helmet and his skull inside of it and on the other side you can see silver surfer's surfboard split in half and it doesn't stop there if you go up these stairs and down the hall you will see thanos's helmet it looks like doom absolutely worked the mad titan this helmet is ridiculously damaged all three of these characters are insanely powerful for him to take out all three is ridiculous now in this same part of the castle you can see the number four and a ball but you can see that the ball is moving it's breathing that is reed richards this is honestly worse than death in my opinion he has absolutely tortured this man it makes sense because they are arch rivals like i could only imagine doom hung this guy from the ceiling and just completely stretched him out inside of his castle and then folded him up into this ball and then put him in this case hopefully at some point reed richards breaks out of this though now when we enter the main part of the castle here in this lobby you're gonna see Moon Knight's crescent dart and this one hurts Moon Knight is my second favorite all-time Marvel character I don't even want to imagine how he died then if you enter the main part of the castle you will see Doctor Doom sitting there on a throne that throne is actually made out of the thing from the Fantastic Four and we'll get a closer look at that here in a minute because if you go to this right side you will see a huge case that says Sue and a chair but nothing's in it because he killed her while she was invisible there i imagine her dead corpse is right there and staying on this side if you work your way down the stairs you will see ultron's head so that is another incredibly powerful villain that dr doom was able to take out and then as you get it closer to the throne here is a better look at it you can tell this is just whatever is left over as the thing he just forged this into his throne now on the opposite side of sue storm in the main part of the castle you will see the eye of agamotto so this is what dr strange typically has so that means Doom also defeated the Sorcerer Supreme. Like his feats are honestly insane in this game. And if you go up the stairs into this castle, you're going to be led to a room where you'll see Namor's Horn of Proteus, which allows him to call for sea monsters. So that means he also took out Namor. But honestly, these aren't the most menacing ones in my opinion. When you get to his bedroom, you will see a fireplace. And in that fireplace is a heart that is consistently on fire. That is Johnny Storm's heart, the human toy just keeping Dr. Doom's bedroom warm. To me, that is the most menacing thing about Doom Castle is the fact that he has his heart just keeping his bedroom warm. And then if you look over here, you can see a dartboard with Reed Richards face on it and then an ax through his head. If you make your way outside of Rebel's Roost, you can see Dr. Doom's statue of his mother. And from what it sounds like, his mom's gonna be playing an important role. Uh, it sounds like Mephisto is coming. So for those of you that read Marvel comics, you're not gonna be surprised, but Doom will most likely summon Mephisto to fight him to free his mother's soul. But he has to defeat him to do so so in that huge lava tower he's most likely forging armor and a weapon to use against Mephisto now if you head over to Doomstat which is a new location that is formed by Dr. Doom's perfect society you can even see posters all over the place like telling people to pick up their trash and that people are watching them you can see security cameras in people's houses but one of these rooms is a huge surveillance room where they're able to watch over everybody which is super interesting but also pretty creepy now in this bedroom, if you break this 
bookshelf it is going to lead you to a secret basement that is this is the secret location that i was referring to earlier this is a whole basement dedicated to iron man you can even see iron man's endgame suit which might be a clue to what suit he could be wearing when he comes back to the island and probably be sold in the item shop and if you click on this little computer here you can read encrypted messages about a secret iron man group and people meeting up to talk about iron man because Iron Man most likely gives these people hope for freedom. Also, another theory could be this is someone's room that is, of course, obsessed with Iron Man that really looks up to him. But maybe it's a superhero that's going to help break people free out of Doomstat and help take on Doctor Doom later on in a big battle. But that's just a theory. But looking at all of this, it is pretty clear that Doctor Doom is probably the greatest villain we've had in Fortnite at least the most menacing by far. But it does seem like our heroes have a plan. When you go to the raft, you can see Gwenpool quote unquote self-captured herself and she mentions Shuri. Shuri is reworking the Tony Stark rift beacons that are on the island. Also, I think it's hilarious that Meowtooth broke out of the raft, but I'm very curious how this is gonna play out, if there's gonna be more trophies that Dooms collects from killing other heroes and villains. I'm honestly very excited to see how this story unfolds. And then let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed, if there was any Easter eggs I could have possibly missed. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use code Toon Spider in the Fortnite item shop, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace!